Hi guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII! I'm Dr. Amron, and... I'm trying to remember what I was going to do. I was going to talk to Tifa. Hello there. Okay, let's go find uh, Red 13 then. Dun. It should be up this way. Yes, in here. But first, let's check out what's over here. You forgot your change. Uh, I don't believe I've even bought anything yet. Hello? That's right. <laughs> Sorry, we have the beginning customers. So, oh, but I do have confidence in your materia. Let's see, what do they got? Ooh. Oh, but I have no money. Ah. I'll have to come back later for those. All right. Oops. Those materials just basically up your hit points and magic. And MP. Okay. Mummer complaint, whatever. Murmur. Sorry. Ah, this way. Where am I? Ah, <laughs> I'm a tiny dot. All right, I guess that wasn't the way. So sue me. We need to go up here. It's a giant telescope. Okay, let's go in. Ah, there he is. Josh, this is my grandfather, Bugen. He's incredible. He knows everything. Bugenhagen. Oh, ho, 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 ho. He's also mighty Tubaka. No. I hear that you looked after Nanaki a bit. Nanaki is still a child, you see. Please stop, Grandfather. I'm 48. Oh, ho, ho. Nanaki's tribe has incredible longevity. You see, he is 48 years would uh, only be equivalent to, say, that of 15 or 16-year-old in human reckoning. 15 or 16? He's quiet and very deep. You thought he was an adult? Well, yeah. Grandfather, I want to be an adult. I want to grow up uh, to be able to protect you in the village. No, Nanaki, you can't stand on your own yet. Yes, you can. You can walk around. Jeez. <laughs> to do what that now would destroy you in the long run. Reaching up into the heavens, threatening to snatch the very stars from the great city of Midgar. You've seen it, haven't you? Well, that's a bad example. Looking up too much makes you lose perspective. Well... When it's time for this planet to die, you'll understand that you know absolutely nothing. When the planet dies, maybe tomorrow or a hundred years from now, but it's not long off. How do you know this? I hear the cries of the planet. I do agree that you should set yourself high goals, but they should be obtainable. So I guess if you do look up high enough, you would probably will lose perspective. The sounds of the stars in the heavens. While this goes on, planets are born and die. Ooh. What was that? That was a scream from this planet. Didn't you hear it? As if to say, I hurt, I suffer. We have come here on a journey to save the planet. Why don't you show them your apparatus? To save the planet? Then again, I guess it wouldn't hurt to show them. Bugenhagen! Several odd looking people have come. The whole place has gotten busy all of a sudden. You brought friends too, I'll go get them. Yeah, that guy's referring to the other people in our party, just so you know. Only three people can fit in Grandfather's machine. 
Oh, you know who I'm taking. You betcha. But now we can um, find everybody here in town, though. So let's go see if we can visit everybody. Yuffie's in the materia shop, of course. God, I hate studying! Uh, I'm gonna leave everybody out for now. If the game will let me! No! 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 Fine. What the heck? Whatever, dude. You know what? I'm gonna actually take Ashley with me to this thing. Whoa! We haven't seen a lot of her yet, so... There we go. <laughs> oh boy. Alright. Let's head inside, dudes. Usually I take Eris with me, but looks like you have them all together. Then let's begin. I'll be uh, I'll be stand there. Okay. Whatever you say, Bugenhagen. Wow, it's just like the real thing. Uh, I'm sorry to say, but you'd be dead if this was the real thing. Mm, yes, pretty good. This is my laboratory. All the workings of space are entered into this 3D holographic system. Look, look, a shooting star! Pretty. Cool. <gasps> it's getting sucked into a black hole. Oh, this is amazing. Yes, it is something, isn't it? Well, let's get to the subject. Eventually all humans die. What happens to them after they die? The body decomposes and returns to the planet. That much everyone knows. But what about their consciousness, their hearts, and their souls? The soul, too, returns to the planet. Not only those of humans, but everything on this planet. In fact, all living things in the universe are the same. The spirits that return to the planet merge with one another and roam the planet. They roam, converge, and divide, become a swell called the life stream. Life stream, in other words, a path of energy with the souls roaming the planet. Spirit energy is a word that you should never forget. A new life, children are blessed with spirit energy and are brought into the world. Then the time comes when they die and once again return to the planet. Of course, there are exceptions, but this is the way of the world. I digress, but you'll understand better if you watch this. Spirit energy makes all things possible, trees, birds, and humans. Not just living things, but spirit energy makes it possible for planets to be planets. What happens if that spirit energy were to disappear? Ah! 
Ah, screen saver. Crazy. These are the basics of the study of life plant or planet life. The spirit energy is lost, our planet is destroyed. Spirit energy is efficient because it exists within nature. Spirit energy is forcefully extracted and manufactured. It can't accomplish its true purpose. You're talking about macro energy, right? Every day, macro reactors suck up spirit energy, diminishing it. Spirit energy gets compressed in the reactors and processed into macro energy. All living things are being used up and thrown away. In other words, macro energy will only destroy the planet. Well, that's what we're here to prevent. Right? Right. Well, guys, that is going to be it for this episode. Godspeed, stay frosty, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.